Thank you, Jen, for that wonderful and kind introduction. Welcome to San Francisco, everybody. You know, you brought in a great weather day today, and it's also the first day of October, and we have named October Innovation Month in San Francisco. And we're kicking it off really the best way possible, and that is with all of you at Code for America Summit. And I want to really thank Code of America. We're really proud of them uh, being a great San Francisco company, and we're proud to have uh, Jen and her wonderful staff and board of directors to be the leaders in our innovation ecosystem that we have in San Francisco. And we're working on quite a bit of initiatives, but before I talk about those for a minute, I just want to acknowledge and welcome some of our wonderful guests here today. My neighbor, Mayor Kwan, thank you very much for being here. Also, yes. By the way, Mayor, while you're here, you have to wear a little bit of orange. If I go over there, I'll wear green and yellow, and we'll both meet off at some playoff. Uh, Mayor M Michael Nutter, thank you, Mayor, for being here today from Philadelphia. And to all of the other government officials who are attending here, representing over 40 cities and counties from across the country, welcome to San Francisco. It's an honor to welcome all of you here to our city, the innovation capital of the world. But now, as of last week, per Bloomberg Business Week, we call ourselves the best city in America. <laughs> We're named the best city not just because we've got the Golden Gate Bridge or a fantastic waterfront or we're hosting America's Cup this week or Fleet Week or all the other wonderful activities that we have. We're also because we're working really hard to make sure we're recovering from our economy downfalls and we're working hard to address those challenges in an innovative way. I've made innovation a cornerstone of my administration and I recognize how important that is. I even put it right in my inauguration address signifying that I was going to work very hard this year, this very first year, on 17 points in our economic plan that talk about innovation and make sure we do it right. Earlier this week, in August, uh, earlier this week, the August unemployment numbers came out, and we are the third lowest unemployment uh, county in the state of California. We're down to 7.4, and we're still going down. We are uh, making sure that People come up to me and they say, Mayor, I, you know, I'm not a really technical wizard. I'm not so much, I, I didn't come from the geek school. I don't, I don't know if I can participate. Well, let me explain to you. Innovation is not just about technology companies. It is about the spirit of innovating our way forward. It is about having an attitude that we can find solutions with partners and we can create our way uh, to solutions. That's the real key to having the innovation corridor in your neighborhood in any great city. You've got to have that right attitude. You've got to welcome people in. You've got to take an attitude that we can create a more sharing economy and help people, help their startups to create more ways and people, for people to actually con contribute and be part of an economy. We're doing that here in San Francisco. We're doing that with Code of America. Besides attracting technology companies to San Francisco, which we've done, I did a score of 1,635 tech companies here in San Francisco today and more on their way. We also launched programs like Improve SF, where it's an, we're using online social media to make sure that our residents and visitors can actually engage with us about improving things that they see and they feel about the city. We're partnering with hackathons and making city services even faster and better. We partnered with a great technology chamber that was created last year called SF City, Citizens Initiative for Technology and Innovation. And today we support 340 dues-paying members to that technology chamber of commerce. It's helping us run Muni faster. It's helping people find parking easier on their app phones. It's making our city more efficient and more welcoming. I've been an early supporter and adopter for Code of America's first of its kind civic accelerator. And I want to thank Jen Paca again for her wonderful leadership in uh, making sure Code of America is here in San Francisco. And they will be partnering with us next year, beginning in January, as we tackle the challenges of our Health and Human Services Department and making sure all of the benefits and all of the richness of our city 
account for and get to every single person who lives in our city, no matter what their cultural background is or their economic class is. We need a better health and human services uh, effort going on so that we can do more with less and reach more people. We're focused on job training. We're helping people get reskilled. We've got an $8 million grant from the Department of Labor to create Tech SF that will allow people to get into the tech industries or the jobs of their choice through retraining of their skills. And because uh, we've been so inspired with the Code of America and the White House, the Presidential Innovation Fellowship that they created, we started our own. I'm calling it the Mayor's Innovation Fellows. And we're committed to making sure we create new leaders. We're also helping to diversify leadership. I've personally been involved with uh, the new Me Accelerator, making sure that we find and support the new leaders and diverse leadership in the technology industry. As I said earlier, October is Innovation Month in San Francisco. And we're so excited to be kicking off this Innovation Month right here at Code for America Summit. And because of this great responsibility that we have to teach other cities as much as we can, I've taken up uh, the new task force that Mayor Nutter has permitted and supported me to do, and that's the Task Force on Innovation and Technology for the U.S. Conference of Mayors. And first and foremost, we have allowed uh, uh, at least two discussions already through all the U.S. Conference of Mayors, and uh, I've been in contact this past week. Louisville is stepping up along with Tampa, Florida to join us on our Open Innovation Action Plan where they're looking at their data and how they can open it up to new entrepreneurs across the country and make sure that uh, the U.S. Conference of Mayors in all the cities allow the experience to have innovation happen in their city. This is wonderful. This is exciting. This is what mayors and their staffs and counties should be doing, innovating ourselves out. The times for whining about where we are in the country are over. We need to move forward, and we are glad to move forward with you. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful conference here.